Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Winds are going to start to pick up in parts of our state today as we track a disturbance that's moving in. It'll also bring a chance for showers, at least for parts of Arizona. But the winds start picking up in northwest Arizona today where we kick off Lake Wind Advisories. Winds there gusting as high as about 45 miles an hour. That does include areas like Lake Havasu City, areas around Bullhead City too. Gusts will come out of the north as those winds sustained are between about 15 and 25 miles an hour. That alert is in place today into tomorrow. Winds for the valley and much of the rest of Arizona pick up tomorrow. Today we get some light breezes in northern Arizona by tomorrow though. Those gusts are as high as 30 to 35 miles an hour in northern Arizona and here in the valley they go as high as about 25 to 30 miles an hour and they're picking up as this disturbance comes in that will also bring some very light snow. That snow level bottoms out at around 6,500 feet but we're talking any light snow accumulation mainly above 8,000 feet. So some of those higher peaks spots like Flagstaff could certainly get a dusting of snow, but it's going to be very minimal and that's today and we could also see a few ice Isolated thunderstorms, mainly in spots across Yavapai County, for example, but overall looking at very minimal impacts with that precipitation. What we will be watching for is that cloud cover because we're waking up to a lot of cloud cover and we could keep some cloud cover around through the day today. It's solar eclipse day and while we're not going to get the full solar eclipse, we're going to get a partial eclipse. It still potentially could be obstructed a bit by some cloud cover. It does look like the cloud cover lingers through much of the morning, starts to thin out around 10 a.m. And then just as that eclipse gets going, we see some pockets of clearing before more clouds drift in. So we'll have to watch for that this afternoon. What you're not going to see is a lot of precipitation up north. Again, some light snow showers and spots along the rim, maybe a few isolated thunderstorms in areas across Yavapai County. But at this point, the valley rain chances are at less than 5%. So that partial eclipse begins at 8, 10.08 this morning, and then that peak reaches 70.5% for us. It's as much as we'll see, and that peak will happen at about 11.20 this morning. Again, we'll have some clouds around, but hopefully enough clearing to at least get a good view and then it'll end at 1235 here this evening. Otherwise, it's going to be a great day temperature wise to get outside. That temperature will top out in the upper 70s and tomorrow the breezes pick up and get ready. We are in for a big warm up. Once this disturbance clears out, we've got high pressure building in mid 80s tomorrow, upper 80s by Wednesday and you're seeing that right mid 90s by Thursday and Friday. We're not going to ease into those 90s at all, but we'll be back in the 80s again by the weekend.